Ukraine's counteroffensive is over, Moscow. The four-month counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces has failed to reach any of its objectives, the Russian ambassador to the United Nations, Vasily Nebenzaya, told the Security Council. For several days now, Russian troops have switched to combat operations practically along the entire front line. Therefore, we can consider the so-called Ukrainian counteroffensive formally over, Nebenzaya said. According to the Russian envoy, four months of Ukrainian attacks resulted only in hundreds of units of destroyed Western equipment and tens of thousands of lives of those conscripted by the Kiev regime, most of whom did not want to fight. Some of the lucky ones surrendered and stayed alive, Nebenzaya added. Ukraine's casualties have amounted to over 90,000 people, 557 tanks and 1,900 armored vehicles, Russian President Vladimir Putin revealed last week at the Valdai Discussion Club in Sochi. Instead of putting an end to the massacre of Ukrainians on the front line, the West continues to feed them weapons like a drug to an addict, thus prolonging his agony, Nebenzaya told the UN Security Council. Let me emphasize that Russia is opposed not by the armed forces of Ukraine, whose resources are almost exhausted, but by the collective military machine of the NATO countries and their combined defense industry, the Russian envoy added. The head of Ukraine's military intelligence, Kirill Budanov, admitted that the offensive wasn't just behind schedule, but off the schedule entirely, adding that the explanation for that is classified.